Saying that very well. Okay, Tom, one thing that we have seen in some of these uh, financial reports have been coming out, and again, we're expecting IBM at any moment, so we may have to break in. Uh, but the, the effect of the strong dollar on earnings, on foreign earnings, it's really being felt this quarter, is it not? Well, it is, and I think Jeff hit the nail on the head. You can't ignore small caps. For the average investor who's under allocated into small caps, there's some great areas, and it's especially, it's going to be a stock picker's market this year because some sectors are going to do well. Others aren't. There's one ETF in particular, the Power Shares Dorsey Wright Small Cap Momentum ETF. It's something to look at because what they what do. What is it, by the way? It's it, a mouthful. It is. It is a mouthful, but it's worth it. It's worth it, David. In the idea that Dorsey Wright, great technical analysts, have packaged this index where every quarter they put the 200 of, of the best small cap stocks out of the Russell 3000 in here. There it is, we got it up there. here. DWAS are the call letters. And again, you, you, you're buying all, you're, you're always into these uh, exchange traded funds, right? Well, it's all about diversification yeah. and it's all about low cost and knowing what you're buying. All right, uh, we, we are gonna focus on one stock now, Mark. And, and I have to mention, I have a little bit of it. It's Halliburton. Halliburton doing extremely well today. Does that signal uh, an upward move in oil? Well, I think it signals a stabilization. Really, I, I, big companies like Halliburton, ExxonMobil, a lot of these great big name stocks in oil and oil services, they just need oil to stabilize for to figure out how much money they're going to make. And that's what we're seeing. I think that, you know, the $30 call, the $20 call that we heard from some of those mm -hmm. analysts is now bunk officially. And, uh, you know, we're going to see oil sit between 50 and 60 bucks for, you know, probably through to July. And then once we figure out where the dollar is going, that's where we're going to figure out oil oil is going. But what we've gotten to now is that, you know, we've shut down the spigot enough right. that oil isn't now so it's rushing so hard out of the hose that uh, we can't control the flow. And so, uh, yeah, <laughs> right. I mean, That's I a good think image Halliburton, for it. Exxon, like all of them. Jeff, yeah, I, I want to talk about Time Warner, the Time Warner Comcast deal, and, and just ask whether in relation to it, I know it's, it's probably too late to get in or out of one of these companies, but what about communication in general? Is there anything in the communication Go field ahead. that appeals to you? Uh, communication and technology were oversold last week. If you look at them on the 10 macro sectors, uh, we continue to like tech. We continue to like telecommunications. Uh, if I was going to avoid a sector here, it would be utilities, which are trading at a peg ratio, a price to estimated growth of over three when technology is trading yeah. at about a one peg ratio. Okay, they're giving me a wrap, Tom, but I have to ask you, you're buying into the small caps. Does that mean you should sell all your large caps? No, no, no. The important thing is to diversify, David. That's what's yeah. most important. Important. The average investor is way over allocated into large cap. All right, guys, this is terrific stuff. Tom Lydon, Jeff Sott, thank you very much. Okay.